Hello friends, I am Aditya Singh sitting on this end at Nagpur. It's raining outside but anyways today I'll be helping you out to solve one of the code chef problems and it's the first question of July challenge 2020 division 1 and also the fourth question of division 2. Okay guys, the question over here is missing a point and the statement goes like this. Chef has an excess parallel rectangles in a 2D Cartesian coordinate system. These rectangles may intersect, but it is guaranteed that all their four and vertices are pairwise distinct. Unfortunately, Chef lost one vertex and up until now, none of his fixes have worked. Then there is a silly joke over there. And then followed by therefore, he gave you the task of finding it. You are given the remaining 4 and minus 1 points and you should find the missing one. Then it is followed by the input format. Okay guys, before we start coding on our editor, what I need is, or what we need is, a concept to work on. What is our algorithm? What is the algorithm to solve this problem? What is the approach? So one of the approach that clicks on my mind is uh, the first time I uh, read the term rectangle is that diagonally opposite sides of a rectangle uh, have the midpoint as the center of the rectangle which is same that is uh, the diagonally opposite if I do the midpoint of diagonally opposite sides of a uh, uh, vertices, vertices of a rectangle it will give me the same point but the problem over here is that 4n minus 1 points are all scattered and do not belong to any rectangle so there is no way to understand which point belongs to a specific rectangle far or the, which points which are the coordinates which belong to the same rectangle and to spot out the vertices which are diagonally opposite of the same rectangle is beyond the question so that approach quite badly fails over here so moving on to the next approach what I have in my mind and which is definitely a working one is that what I will do is um, since I will I will take advantage of the two things that uh, the question has said the question says that these rectangles are parallel to the Cartesian plane that is uh, the sides are always parallel to x axis and y axis and also the question says that all the pairs of vertices are unique so there is no vertice, vertex which belongs to more than one rectangle. Sure, the rectangles might be intersecting, but the vertices are unique and they are not intersecting or common between two rectangles. Okay, the correct approach goes this way. That is, if there is an X coordinate that I find in the set of vertices that I am supplied with, say here over here in the, if we if I look at the bigger rectangle I have a coordinate at top left of x equal to 4 and y equal to 6 so for x equal to 4 there are two y possibly there are two possible outputs of y that is x4 comma y something between 2 and 4 probably 3 and x again 4 and y6 so there is a repetition of x equal to 4 for two times and if it is true that the vertices of the rectangle are uh, unique and not common between rectangles then there has to be even number of uh, x equal to 4 occurrences in our uh, data that we are supplied with so that is what I will be looking at for x any value of x equal to that whatever uh, coordinate I am being supplied with and the same I will apply it along the y coordinates say if uh, for the smaller rectangle it's y equal to 2 uh, there are two coordinates one is x equal to 1 probably and x equal to 2 the other one so it is again a multiple of uh, 2 that is it is even so for any occurrence of x that I am supplied in the data set it has to occur uh, even times if a rectangle has to be possible if it is occurring even times I will move on and check an other x, x, x coordinate that I am being supplied with but if it is uh, being supplied odd number of times that is the total number of that 4 and minus 1 points in it if I get odd number of times the occurrence of a particular value of x then something is wrong and I'll just remember it and that will be uh, contributing highly to our solution 
So now just since we have a rough idea of what we are going to do, let's apply it on Python. Okay, the first user input is the number of cases. So I'll store it in a variable named t. Then I will open a loop for loop for the number of test cases. After that, I'll take the input from the user for the value of n. As you can see on the left side, there is the input format uh, on the left hand side over there. Then I'll create a list uh, by the variable name L. I will create two dictionaries FCX and FCY. Now I will create another for loop which will repeat itself 4n minus 1 times where I will take the x and y coordinates of various 4n minus 1 vertex vertices from the user end of the program. So after that I will just let the x and y as be my variable where I will quickly use the map function to get the input of integer type. I will make sure that I apply the R strip and split function so that I get the x and y coordinates without any errors. After that what I will do is use the try statement. What I am doing is I am just adding one to the x element of fcx but if x does not exist in the fcx dictionary what I will get is a key error. So if I get the key error I will catch it using the exception com, uh, statement and once I am getting that error what I will do is I will set the x as inside the dictionary as an element which will be which will hold one. Now I'm applying to all the same things that I applied to x coordinates to the y coordinates under, under the dictionary fcy. Now what I will do is run a for loop inside the dictionary or for the dictionary fcx and what will be my aim will be to catch the x coordinates which appear odd number of times because that is what we are aiming to do from the very beginning of this programming or coding right so what I will do is if I get the number of repetition of any element inside the dictionary fcx that is the coordinate x the number of times the x coordinate is appearing uh, to be odd that is mod 2 not equal to 0 what I will do is break so I will have that i value stored now I will run the another for loop inside for the fcy dictionary and this time j will be our iterating constant or uh, sorry uh, iterating variable and uh, the moment I will get the odd uh, number of times repeating y coordinate I will break the loop right there and the j will be that particular or uh, correspond to that particular element which was repeating odd number of times now I will simply print i and j because those are our answers I will quickly now run the code to check if there are any errors and there is no error mark over here so what I will do is I will copy the sample input that is given on the code chef site and once I have copied it command C command V I will paste it and there is two 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 com two space two that is example output so the code is working pretty much over here so what's left is to submit the code and see if the submission is accepted 100% well or if there is any error still uh, any issue of time or some something like that so the only way to check that is uh, submit the code and let's see what the output is